What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with some very exciting Dragon Ball Fighters news. So you might have heard about the event being held yesterday that was to announce the 8 games to be held at EVO. Of course one of these 8 games happened to be Dragon Ball Fighters, which it was kind of a given but it's still very good to hear nonetheless. For those of you that were just Dragon Ball fans before this game came out and are new to the fighting game scene, this is a big deal because EVO just isn't a tournament, it is THE tournament. Dragon Ball Fighters taking place at the biggest tournament in the world means you can expect Bandai Namco will consider the game a huge success, Arxis has a lot of representation at this tournament, new players are going to see this game being played at the highest level during the stream and that's going to be sure to get some more people to purchase the game, and last but definitely not least means that we are going to see some top world class play in Dragon Ball Fighters. Now by then we're going to have at least a couple of DLC characters under our belt, so who knows maybe we can see some Broly? Uh, obviously that hasn't been officially announced yet, but that would be awesome. So yeah, the Dragon Ball Fighters future is looking very bright, but I do want to talk about these other games that were announced, as if you're going to go to a Devo or watch it on stream, you might catch some of these other games and it's a good chance to see something else. So the games you have are Tekken 7, Super Smash Bros for Wii U, Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, the soon to be released Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Guilty Gear Xrd 2, Injustice 2 Makes a Return, Smash Bros for GameCube, and of course Dragon Ball Fighters. They made a big deal about Dragon Ball Fighters, by the way. They saved it for the A slot and they kind of teased it, even though it was kind of a stupid tease. We all knew it was going to be there. And they also announced which games are going to be played on Sunday. Again, if you're new to EVO, Sunday is like the big day for these things, so a lot of the main big games are here, and Dragon Ball Fighters was one of them. So again, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Fighters, this is really great news, and you're going to see some really top quality matches. Now, for the last minute of this video, I do want to address something you've probably heard if you've been following this, and that's a lot of people asking, when's Marvel? Uh, again, <laughs> again, if you're new, this might sound confusing, but Marvel vs. Capcom is a very, uh, is a very long-running series that, that has been in every EVO so far in the past, and you might be seeing a lot of this on the Dragon Ball Fighters subreddit and a lot of other places that discuss Dragon Ball Fighters, because people look at Dragon Ball Fighters as the new Marvel, as it's another 3v3 tag game, and it captures the feeling of the old Marvels pretty well. So yeah, I just wanted to mention, if you see anybody hurt that Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite wasn't here, and they're comparing it to Dragon Ball Fighters, now you at least know why. Of course, if I had to pick one, Dragon Ball Fighters would definitely make it in over Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite any day of the week, but it, it really is not up to me. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom will be a side tournament though, if you do want to play it, then you can play it there at EVO as well. Before I end the video, I do want to ask you though, are you excited for this lineup? Are there any games you wish would have personally made it? Or are there any games you don't think should have made it? Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as I'll be down there as always. And while you're down there, if you enjoyed this video and channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You can also further support this channel by becoming a sponsor. I know this was a short video, but I just wanted to get it out there that Dragon Ball Fighters will be at EVO, and it will also be a Sunday game. So do look forward to that, and I will try to attend EVO, and I hope you do as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your continued support, everyone. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.